Today I will be showing you how to get out of bounds of Heist Battleground Europa, which is part of Season 19 in Destiny 2. The battleground can be selected directly by going to Europa or encountered in the Heist playlist from the helm. Do us a favor and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Once loaded into the battlegrounds, you'll need to make your way to Bray Exoscience, which is the first room that has many bosses. From what I found, this out of bounds requires me to wait on my teammates, so there will be more jumps and cuts than usual. I do apologize. The roof fixture in this room has a hole right above the door that you enter in. If you use some jumping like stasis crystals or something else, you can get up here and get on top. There are a couple other holes in this place that could probably accomplish the same thing. However, I find this one to be the easiest. Once up here, you might notice the support beams. If you get close to them, you might notice that there is a hole that you can walk through. These will actually spit you out under the map and get us right where we want to get. Once successfully getting out, I'll go ahead and jump to try to progress past my teammates and I do get greeted with a joining allies prompt so I quickly get back inside the map and I wait for them to progress. Once progressing past the mini bosses, you're able to jump over here and navigate along the hallway. So you could do the solo, you would just have to clear the room first and then get out of bounds. Sometimes along the way, you just need to pause and take it all in. This game is truly, truly massive, and getting out of bounds just puts that in perspective. It really is a remarkable experience. Moving along, you'll notice that the hallway does end, so we will need to find the loading point and trip it. Luckily for us, this one's pretty simple. Just walk along the top and you'll go ahead and load in. Getting out here and seeing the train system from out of bounds is a pretty cool perspective. We'll have another video posted at some point exploring this area further, showing you other holes that can help you get out of bounds at different parts. But for now, let's keep it kind of focused and move along towards the pyramid. If you look around at the trains themselves or this conveyor belt, you can see how Bungie and game dev in general reuses assets to save on load time. Whenever the object gets to the end of the conveyor belt, you'll notice that it instantly teleports back to the beginning and boom, just that simple. Once your team has progressed through the previous room, you can jump off to this platform on the right. You're gonna wanna head around to the far side over here, basically towards the end. Once you get down here, be careful. There are turn back barriers. You're gonna notice that I am dying and respawning here, so jump down as close as you can and hug the right and get near your teammates and you'll be able to stand there and wait for them to clear this entire section but head on down to where the door is that they'll be entering once they clear the section simply hop over the wall and fall down past the turn back barrier now there is plenty plenty to explore out here. However, we are going to go for that pyramid and we're going to try to get out of bounce over there and see what we find. And just like that, my season long goal of getting outside of these vaults and on top of them has been accomplished. This is such a cool sight to see. I didn't know if we'd ever be able to get outside of the actual room, but here we are. If you go exploring out here and find anything interesting, make sure to leave a comment below. Before we head down to the vault, let's just take a moment to appreciate Ice-T and Prozac. They're always here. They're always putting up with my shenanigans. I love them. It's a great time. Make sure to check out Prozac on YouTube. His tag is Wacko Backo. Go ahead and look at the info in the top right and you should be able to get to his channel. Now there are a lot of turn back, kill barriers and joining allies if you go straight down. The way I found to get down to the vault itself is to fly horizontally across and basically walk down the top of the tunnel to get there. Once on top of the tunnel, it's pretty straightforward. You can just walk on down and get to the vault itself. There is nothing really out here from this perspective. There's a lot of turn backs and joining allies. Eventually I went to the left and tried to fly around the back of the pyramid itself and I joined my allies and went back into the vault. In the last room, when you're fighting the main boss, there are holes everywhere. You can jump on these wires and go above. You can crouch through here and go through here. You'll notice that while I'm exploring out here, I actually fall back into the boss room and I just simply jump right back out because there is a giant gaping hole in the roof. If you learned something new and enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you didn't, then leave a dislike and let us know why in the comments. And as always, stay curious, Guardians.